Click on how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here. From what we have here, which is 8 raised to the power x minus 1 equals to 80. On this side, what we have follows when we have a raised to the power m minus n, which is the same thing as a raised to the power m over a raised to the power n. Like this here, what we have becomes 8 raised to the power x over h raised to the power 1 equals to 80 from here. The next step, the same thing as h raised to the power x over h raised to the power 1, same thing as 8, then equals to, here we can write it as 80 over 1. And when we cross multiply, h raised to the power x times 1, same thing as h raised to the power x, then equals to 80 times 8 on this side. Then next step here, we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log 8 raised to the power x equals to log 80 times 8 here. Then we apply the power law of logarithm here. Well, we have log m raised to the power p. This same thing as p log m. That is, here this becomes x log 8 equals to log 80 times 8 from here. The next step here, we divide both side by log 8. Divide this side by log 8. Also, divide this side by log 8, which implies log 8 cancelled each other here. And we are left with x, which is equal to log 80 times 8 over log 8. Then also here, what we have here follows the log log when well, we have log a times b, the same thing as log a plus log b. As this, what we have here becomes x equals to log 80 plus log 8 all over log 8. Then next step here, we separate this into two fractions, and what we have becomes x equals to log 80 over log 8 plus log 8 over log 8 here. And here, log 8 cancel each other. We have one left, and here, x now equals to log 80 over log 8 plus 1. Then also, next step, we can rewrite 80 as 8 times 10. And what we have becomes x equals to log 8 times 10 over log 8 plus 1 here. Then this also follows the law of log logarithm, and we have x now equals to log 8 plus log 10 over log 8 plus 1. Then here we separate this into two fractions, and we have x now equals to log 8 over log 8 plus log 10 over log 8 plus 1 here. Also, log 8 cancelled each other. We have 1 left, which implies x now equals to 1 plus, we can write this one first, then plus log 10 over log 8. From here, this becomes x equals to 2 plus log 10 over log 8. Also here, we can express 10 as 2 times 5, which implies what we have becomes x equals to 2 plus log 2 times 5 over log 8. Then from here, this follows the law of logarithm, and what we have becomes x equals to 2 plus log 
2 plus log 5 over log 8. And also, we separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to 2 plus log 2 over log 8 plus log 5 over log 8. The next step, we can write 8 as 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 raised to power 3. As this, what we have becomes x equals to 2 plus log 2 over log 2 raised to power 3 plus log 5 over log 2 raised to power 3. And when we apply the power law of logarithm here, 3 comes here and also from here, and what we have become x equals to 2 plus log 2 over 3 log 2 then plus log 5 over 3 log 2 that this here log 2 cancelled each other we are left with 1 over 3 that this x equals to 2 plus 1 over 3 then plus also here we have 1 over 3 times log 5 over log 2 that is when we apply change of base here when we have log a over log b, this is the same thing as log a to base b. As this here we have x equals to 2 plus 1 over 3, same thing as 7 over 3, then plus 1 over 3, log 5 to base 2 now. And here three is common, so that's the SCM. We can write that seven plus log five base two all over three years. So here we have the value of x in this given problem as x equals to seven plus log five base two all over three. Now let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. As this we substitute. The value of x here, which is x equals to 7 plus log 5 is 2 all over 3. And what we have becomes 8 raised to power 7 plus log 5 is 2 over 3 minus 1. Is it equals to 80 on this side? Then from up here, we can bring this together. That is, the SCM here is 3. And what we have here is still in 7 plus log 5 is 2, then minus 3 here is equal to 80 on this side. Then we can bring this together 7 minus 3, that's 4. So we have 8 raised to the power 4 plus log 5 is 2 then over 3 is it equals to 80 on this side and next step we can write it as 2 raised to power 3 which is raised to power 4 plus log 5 is 2 over 3 is equals to 80 from here this power multiplies and 3 cancel each other and what we have left becomes 2 raised to power 4 plus log 5 is 2 is equals to 80 on this side that is here from the law of indices a raised to power m plus n same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n which implies 2 raised to power 4 times 2 raised to power log 5 is 2 here is equals to 80 on this side then 2 raised to the power 4 to multiply itself 4 times that's 16 then times what we have here follows so we have a raised to the power log b to base a which is equals to b that is here we have 5 is equals to 80 from here and of course 16 times 5 gives us 80 
which is equals to A T on this side. Now we have the left hand side equals the right hand side. Hence from here, we conclude that x equals to seven plus of five is two all over three satisfies this given problem. And thank you for watching us here at Master Team at last. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more videos and turn the description below. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. See you next class. And bye for now.